Hi guys, I'm going to do um, an empties video today for January and February. So, starting off with the Desert Essence Organics Red Raspberry Shampoo. I really like the conditioner, but this wasn't that good. I'm not going to recommend it, recommend it, and I won't repurchase. Um, my son used up the Nature's Baby Organics Shampoo and Body Wash. Um, the scent was really nice, like um, vanilla and tangerine. And um, I felt I felt like it was really gentle to my son's skin and head. I used up the Naube Protective Shampoo and Shower Gel. I can't remember if... Yeah, I, I really like the scent of this one. Um, but it wasn't... It wasn't a great shampoo. It's like it didn't do much for my hair. I used up um, this travel set from John Masters Organics. It contains... Um, the Lavender Rosemary Shampoo for Normal Hair, the Citrus and Neroli Detangler, and the Blood Orange and Vanilla Body Wash, and Body Milk. I really like the Detangler and the Body Wash smell. It smells amazing. Um, I can't really explain it. It just feels so um, refreshing and uh, this was a really nice set. I think I got it from feelunique.com. Um, John Masters Organics is not cruelty free anymore so unfortunately I will not repurchase any of their products but I used up um, some hand cream. I, I used a lot of hand cream. This is the neutral hand cream with syrup, syrup perfume, um, parabens and all that. I, I felt like this was too fat for me, like it didn't absorb into the skin. Um, but it was alright. Also, this is kind of weird, but I have to mention this herbal tea sampler from Celestial. Celestial. Yeah, Celestial. I don't know how you pronounce it, but there's five different um, flavors, and the one, the peppermint one, was so good, and I liked all of these. And also, the Asan Mild Triple Shower for Men. Always repurchase. Such an easy product. I used up some cotton pads from Soft Style. I used up the Declior Nutri Divine Nutri Boost Soft Cream. So this was my daily moisturizer, and I would have repurchased this one. It's amazing. It smells pretty good. Nothing like special, really, but it does wonders to the skin, and um, I probably will repurchase. But they. Feelingneat.com had a sale, uh, like 30% sale or something, and so I got the Ultra Cocooning Cream that has won prizes um, within beauty, and I just had to try it when it was on sale. So that's what I'm using right now, and I love it. I used up Anatomical's Puffy the Eye Bag Slayer Wake Up Under Eye Patch. These are really good. I like them a lot, and they're they're great for when you've been sick or you've had a night out or something, and you feel kind of dehydrated. Those those pads are really nice to have under the eyes, as well as this um, moisturizing under eye treatment. You get get these with purchase, like gifts with purchase on iHerb.com. I used up a sampler from Dermalogica Skin Hydrating Booster. These are really nice as well. Like, it's it has the same purpose as those under eye um, pads. Also, I used up um, Nooks, Nooks Pr 
prodigieux, prodigieux le perfume. I don't know. I don't know how you say this, but it's a perfume and it smells like all the other product, products from this brand. Um, I'm, I'm starting to get a little bit sick of this scent. So I'm not in love with this perfume, but if you like the scent from the Nooks line, I, I would go for this perfume. So that was just some samples. I also have two other perfume samples. Um, they're both from Oriflame. I can't remember which one I really liked. This is Volaire and this is Amber Elixir. Um, another perfume that I just kind of just gave up on is the Cindy Crawford Star Perfume. Yeah, all the toilet. Um, I've used up more than half of this one. I got this several years ago from my sister and I was so happy when I got this perfume. It has been a favorite of mine and I I'm not sure why I haven't used it up. Probably, probably because I was going to save it for a special occasion, which never happens and it ends up going bad. Um, oh, this was a sampler from my sister. I think it was the Moroccan oil hair treatment something. I, I've used up one of these before. I have one more left. I can't say this amazed me in any way. I don't think it was all that good. I mean, it was all right, all right, but I have other hair masks and hair treatments that I like better for my hair. Um, this just got destroyed by my son. He, <laughs> I don't know, I ha still haven't found the lid from this. I kept this on my nightstand and he kept coming over and stealing this and yeah, it's ruined. So, but it was the Carmex lip balm. I thought it was okay to use as a night lip balm, but I don't, I won't repurchase this one. I like the scent and yeah, but it's just, it, I feel like it's really nice once you put it on, it's really moisturizing and nice, but then I feel like it dries out even more, like dries my lips out even more and it becomes kind of addicting. Same with the lip smackers, these are just, they're not good, but I was in a period where I was collecting these and I had like 30 of them. Now I have maybe like 15 left. I don't know how much, how many, but this is the wild raspberry and I like the scent of these and that's why I started to collect them and I thought it was a fun thing. We didn't, there wasn't like lip smacker was pretty new when I started collecting them in Norway. Um, it was an all-American thing uh, and now I'm just sick of them and I just want to get rid of them so I'm trying to use them up instead of throwing them away and I'll probably give the rest away I don't know um, then I have uh, four lip products um, this is the elf lip stain I don't know which color this is, but I think it's the lightest one, maybe. No, there's probably one nude, I think. But this is, in order for it to sh in, like show up, I have to really rub it on my skin. And you can see a tiny like hint of pink. I can't keep rubbing and rubbing this on my lips in order for it to show up. It just, I don't have the time for that and I feel like it makes my lips really sore um, and it doesn't even show up and it really dries up my lips and uh, I just don't like this. I All the stains I've been trying, um, it just sucks. I don't like them. They're not, they're just so drying to the lips. 
Next is another product from e.l.f. that I'm just going to give up. I think I've used this like four or five times. I used to have three of these. I've, I think I've given one away. Yeah, these were really popular when I first started watching YouTube. It's the e.l.f. Super Glossy Lip Shine with an SPF of 15. This one's in Mauve Lux, I think. Um, I have one more left, which is a little bit... Um, a little bit lighter and I will try it out but this is just it's it shows up really s stripey and um, it's so sticky and yucky to the lips it, ugh, I feel like I've got like a ton of lip gloss on and I don't like the color I don't like I don't like these glossy, like these tubes. Um, I much more like wands when applying lip glosses. And it has this piece of plastic sticking out from the applicator, uh, which is kind of scraping my lips. And yeah. So I'm just going to get rid of this. Um, and then this e.l.f. Longwear Lip Liner in Mod Lux. Oh, this is Mauve Lux as well. I didn't realize. Yeah, okay. Um, this is the most terrible lip liner I've ever tried. It... It does show up if you really put some power into it on the hand. And... The color is so... It's like such a... 90s kind of color but in a bad bad way it's not like um what's her name Kylie Jenner I don't know it's not that kind of a lip um but it's it's just a bad formula it's so hard to put on the lips it's yeah no I don't like it and I'm gonna give it up I haven't really ever used it I think like no um, and the last product, well I have one more left, uh, the last lip product is the e.l.f. Um, liquid Lipstick in Cherry Tart. This is one of my favorite lip glosses I have already repurchased. I love, like, the whole idea of this. Um, um, you switch, like, it's retractable, so the product comes out of this sponge applicator. And it's a really pretty color, like a berry color. Um, and it smells like mint. And yeah, I love this. Now the last product is probably is going to be in my favorites video. It's the um, Lancome Hypnose Mascara. Uh, it's just a travel sample, and I'm not sure if this is like a specific nose mascara because I, I think there are several, like several nose mascaras, but I'm not really into Lancome mascara, so I don't, I don't know. But this one was really good. It it's a black one. It really like curled my lashes. I didn't even. Have felt the need to use an eyelash curler and my lashes are so straight and terrible they go like this and um, this really took care of that it didn't smudge it didn't um, um, have any sort of fallout throughout the day and um, it was really easy to apply I love the brush I don't know if the I think it the bigger original size brush is just like this as well I think and yeah I really like this mascara um, I've heard that the Lancome mascaras are supposed to be really good but they're not cruelty free so I won't purchase this one but man I wished they they were because this is this is a good one so that was all I had for my empties. I hope you liked this video. I hope to see you again in my next one. Bye!